Hey everybody, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here, and today I've got good news, everybody, on the ransomware front. Now here's what's going on. This is according to Bleeding Computer, and this put a smile on my face, but it actually kind of makes me concerned for the future as well. Here's what's going on in the ransomware space right now. The gangs that are extorting us uh, basically extorted about $456.8 million from the entire planet throughout 2022. But that's a drop of about 40% from the previous record-breaking 765 million recorded in the previous two years. If you recall in the beginning of the pandemic when the bomb dropped and everybody was freaking out, every single cyber criminal gang was basically using the pandemic as a lure. Hey, can't find toilet paper? Click here. Didn't get your stimulus check? Click here. But that is obviously receding. Nevertheless, prices are dropping. But this is where it gets interesting because according to data from blockchain analytics company Chain Analysis or Chain Analysis, this drastic decline in ransomware is not driven by fewer attacks, but by more victims refusing to pay the attackers. Now, 2022 was basically marked um, by the end of the Conti, Conti operation, the emergence of ransomware service uh, new players like Royal, Play, Black Basta, etc. On top of that, the normal players like Lockbit, Hive, Cuba, Black Cat, and Ragnar maintain basically a relative steady flow of victims throughout 2022. Despite multiple extortion tactics employed by these operators, and I've talked about the quadruple extortion, they basically steal your files, they knock you out. So if you don't, if you basically don't have good backups, uh, you're screwed. But if you've got good backups, they have a copy of your files that they're extorting from you. Uh, then they sift through the files, extort anybody that you've got sensitive information on, and then start harassing you through things like denial of service attacks and all of that. A growing number of victims, though, are still refusing to pay the demands of these attackers. So <clears throat> according to cyber intelligence firm Coveware, they're saying that they see an identifiable trend since 2019 in their statistics showing, <clears throat> excuse me, that victims paying indeed have dropped. In 2019, 76% of ransomware victims chose to pay the ransom and only 24 dealt basically with the consequences by saying no. That trend changed in 2022 as only 59% of victims uh, chose not to pay the ransomware. So that's obviously a huge jump. And so there you go. If you even it out, we're, got, we're at about 40% now refusing to pay, which is a drastic increase. And I think that's good news that less organizations are actually negotiating with the terrorists online. However, this begs the question, what's the next evolution of this? Meaning, while they've got a steady flow, if more and more, uh, basically, organizations are refusing to pay ransomware attackers, they actually have to infect more in order to keep their profits up. So, what are they going to do to evolve this? What are the new tactics we're going to see? They're already harassing, they're already running denial of service attacks. Are we seeing, potentially, something new spring up that is above and beyond the traditional ransomware system? Obviously, we have ransomware as a service, but ransomware essentially is... You are separated and locked out from your data, and you have to pay to get your data unlocked and not now not get dumped into the dark web. What is the next evolution of that? I think this is the discussion that we need to see. We should, in the cybersecurity community, be bracing for impact on this. And so while I'm thrilled because we should not be negotiating with terrorists, and that is my default position when I am advising uh, people that I'm working with through ransomware events, nevertheless... We do see some pay, we do see some don't. So I think overall it's good news, but I really, really think we need to be bracing for impact, and that is a discussion the cybersecurity community needs to have as we are anticipating more attacks in the future and an ever-growing uh, ransomware threat. Nevertheless, if people are refusing to pay, they have to change up the game as well, meaning the criminals. And so we're going to see what happens, but that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, and please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe. Stay online and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.